Good evening. How are you doing? We all have dilemmas. We all have things. We have choices to make. And sometimes those choices are really hard. Let me just show you these. Now, it's not the best light in here tonight. It is evening. It's, uh, it's quite dark outside. Um, number seven planes. Um, I've got three. One of them's got to go. So it's easier said than done, isn't it? But let me just take you through them. These two were from somebody who, an interesting story. I'll tell you about it one of the days, not just now. I'll tell you about it in a bit. I'll tell you about it later. I was given these two. And to be given two number sevens is really quite lucky. As you can see, we've got a really old one, which is an early number seven. It's a type eight. It hasn't got Stanley on there. It hasn't got Bailey on here. It hasn't got the toe part or the heel strengthening bit. It's got really thin sidewalls, really thin. They're beautiful. It's a beautiful plane. Flat, straight, square. It's good. This was produced between 1870 and 1902. Um, has it got the original blade? I think it might even have the original blade. I'm not sure whether it's, it could be. So that's that one, low knob. Look at the difference in the knobs. Let me show you these. Look at, look at, look at this. I mean, I've used it. It's great to use. It's been sharpened once or twice. So I've used it. It's not like it hasn't been done a bit of work. Then there's the next one. So that one, as I say, that's a type, that's a type eight. And I've checked all the other bits and pieces out. So it's pre-1902. So that's great. This next one, I only checked out yesterday. It's a type 15, which is 1931-32 USA made. And I sharpened this yesterday and I pushed it over a piece of ash. And it is so sweet. It's cutting beautifully. And I was thinking of selling it um, because I said to somebody, somebody said, have you got number seven for sale? And I said, yes. And I showed them that one. And then I realised, hang on, hang on, I've got this one. But now I've sharpened that one up. That one is beautiful. And I thought, oh, sort of, oh, okay. So which one goes? You tell me. And there's a connection between this one and that one. So this is a Preston. You hardly ever see a Preston plane, let alone a Preston, not number seven, number 17. They always used to put a one in front. These were only, these, so these are similar period. In fact, they're the same period, 1931, 32. And if I put them together, if I put them together and you look down on it, look at the similarities. Look at the, just, just this, the positioning of this bridge here or web or whatever you want to call it. The positioning of the numbers, exactly the same place. Thickness of the sidewalls, exactly the same. They've both got a screw to adjust the frog down there. I don't know what this is, that's got to go. I don't know who's put that there. Um, this one's got that as well, but this one's a much earlier one with a smaller brass knob, but no adjustment all down, all down here. No adjustment screw for the frog. Similar period, 1931-32. This is great. I mean, it's got original iron, EP iron. It's got the hole in the top of the blade because even though Preston said, right, we're going to have to copy Stanley, one thing they didn't copy is they didn't move from the traditional position of this hole at the top to where you join the cap iron to the blade to the iron. They didn't change that. They knew it was still the right thing to do it up there. And this is beautiful, made in England. So it's a type two, green, beautiful green, red frog. Here you can see the red of the frog. Oh, great plane, great condition. But which one goes? What would you do? What would you do? One has got to go. Do I keep the earliest and the rarest and let the one that's easier to replace go? 
Do I get rid of the earliest one? At the current prices, do you want to know the current prices? Current prices are interesting. I'll put them in order of value at the moment, prices at the moment. Let's start off with this one. This one currently in the UK, anywhere from 100 to 130, 140. That blade has just been sharpened. I've, I've sorted the back of the blade out. I've done a few bits to it, so it's been slightly tuned. Frog position's improved, and it's and it is sweet. So at the moment, I'd want 120 for that. These things, this earlier one, the Type 8, well, the Type 8s are going for 160, 170, 180. Somebody's got one up for 240, which I think is a bit over the top. I want you to guess what you think the Preston's worth. Preston number 17 or number 7, whatever you want to call it. Or 17. Yes, it was 17. That's how they used to say it. It wasn't 17. It was 1 and then the number. These two came from a family where it was all males for years and then there was one girl left and she was similar to age to who I am now and um, she got lots of tools and she said, Jamie, would you have them, use them with the students, do whatever you want with them. Um, and they, their family business was doing parquet floors in Birmingham. So all the fancy floors in Rackham's, Lewis's, all the big department stores had wooden floors, parquet floors. And this, these planes did the work for those. Price of that one, currently, I wouldn't let that go for anything less than... So there you go. Thanks for watching. Let me know which one you'd like or which one you think I'd like to, I should sell. Cheers. If you want to support me, buy me a coffee is my preferred method of you supporting me. They take the smallest percentage. It just makes more sense to me. Thanks for watching.